today I am discussing baskets which again is one of my um, collections I do like baskets and I do store them because I use them for different things at different times now these few I'll just move that one out of the way um, I keep on my stairs I've got two shelves it is rather dark at the moment I've got two shelves so I store them there which is not a problem they're out of the way I did actually forget that I did put a couple of bits of decor as you can see in that basket so I'm going to sort those few items out this basket as I said I keep downstairs I've got to find the um, cover um, because if I have to bring anything upstairs, I usually put it in there, but it's not a permanent holding um, plan. It is stuff that has to be put away. At the moment, it is empty. And I'm going to give you a, a more in-depth look at my cubby. Well, this isn't my cubby, sorry. This is my walking cupboard, I should say. I'm not quite with it today, but I need to get started. I've got some wicker baskets there that I'm going to pull out and I've got two there I have actually um, sorted all this out I'm going to look at these baskets and just have a look realistically I was supposed to be getting rid of 25% but baskets I do have a problem with and I still find them very useful so I'm going to pull them out have, have a check what I've got look at them and then make a decision so I'm just going to pull those out. Oh, by the way, I do have my red ones. I sorted and got rid of a lot of stuff. So I put my red ones up the top there. And there's two Christmas ones and they've got tags on. I bought them, not this Christmas just gone, but the previous Christmas. And I'm going to use those um, as Christmas hampers. And I bought those flannels, um, which are Christmas colours. So I can make some sm um, spa baskets. So and the other big ones are what I stored the additional food in. So I'm not going to get rid of those. They're, they're already been stored, sorted and I've put them, you know, like inside one another. So there's not a problem. As I said, I'm going to go in more depth of my um, cupboard. But there's one or two bits I'm still um, looking at and see if I can get rid of them. So I'm just going to pull them out. Right, I've just pulled this pile of baskets out of my um, cupboard and I'm going to say this, I'm finding, I believe, harder than actually decor pieces. Um, but we shall see what I can do. Um, I tend to keep on baskets because also they make um, nice gift baskets. And that's another reason why I collect them. But I am trying not to bring any more baskets in the home. Um, as I said, some of them are useful. And I have got a couple more baskets around the home. But they are in use. Um, you probably know. Like this one here. I've got the larger one that I use as like a mini laundry basket in our bedroom. That is the medium one. The smaller one I have on top of the toilet system in our bathroom and it stores extra toilet rolls. So there are things that are being used. And as I said, this one um, I use as my bit basket downstairs. And the one in, I've got the second one in our bedroom, as I showed you, that has all my thick socks. So I'm discontinu I'm just um, taking those out because they are definitely in use. Um, so move these all up. So I'm left with these. As I said, I think baskets are very versatile and very useful. So I'm going to... Um, sort of go through these baskets as I said and make a decision I think this is going to be a hard one 
because I, as I said, I love baskets. Although I love a lot of things in our home, I do find them so useful. So I'm thinking I'm getting rid of a lot of other stuff. Even if I can't get rid of one basket, I can look around my home and pull out maybe five or ten items and keep the baskets, if that makes sense. But we shall see. I'm, I'm struggling this morning again. But doing a little bit each day helps. Now, I mentioned Consumed off of Netflix UK. There's also the Maria Kondo, if that's pronounced correctly. Um, I watched the whole of that season last week. Again, sorting bits and pieces. She is the, um, she's really strict. And I can understand. And some of the things I have taken on board, like categorising things, I'm pulling every, say, every single piece of clothing out. Now... I have done the large purge over the last few years. I'm just being very strict this year. And I'm starting the beginning of the year because as the year progresses, we do caravan a lot. So um, weekends are taken up with caravanning and um, more family pursuits out, outdoors. And then, of course, there's the gardening on top of that. So this part of the year first part of the year I like to get um, a majority of the decluttering organising done. Now going back to clothing, I have done a large purge over the years and I've showed you my organisation in my wardrobes. My wardrobes are categorised as you've probably um, seen the videos. So when I'm purging I will pull out say all my t-shirt wardrobe. Um, I won't pull out both wardrobes because, as I say, they're categorised and I know what's what. I did do it with the um, grey baskets um, yesterday, as I said. I pulled out all three, put them on the coffee table. And this is the baskets. Just when I think you see all of one like of item together, sometimes I pull it out from around your home. I think it can be a shock. Now, I haven't done all the baskets. I've basically pulled out the baskets that I feel are not completely in use or haven't been used. So I'm going to stop the little um, rant and have a look at my baskets. Right, I reviewed my um, basket collection and it may not look much difference but I've actually pulled out a few baskets um, these ones at the moment I'm keeping and what I've reviewed them I've picked each item up and these are what I call the solid baskets these are strong so I'm keeping all these and like this one I think my friend gave me that one and that one's a really big one decent one but I am going to use them and instead of, because I love storage, instead of looking at more storage baskets, I'm going to see if I can use these. And this one was a charity shop. Right, this one I've pulled out um, because I want, I've got, I'm due to make another spa basket. So I'm going to use that one. So that's actually leaving the home. Okay. And look, look. Doesn't look much. Five baskets I'm pulled out. And mostly because they are, they could have been spa baskets, but they're the thinner ones. So I am pulling those out. So I'm quite happy. Um, five baskets are going. So at least I'm getting rid of something I didn't think I would actually. Well, six if you include that one, because that one's going hopefully tomorrow when I make the basket up. So that's six baskets. And then I keep these and I am going to find uses for them you might recognize these here I did have some of those in my bathroom with the um, cream poinsettias over Christmas so 
and these are I've got three or four in the set each so we shall see how it goes so I'm quite happy with that and um, I'm going to go and put them all away now I've just actually answered the phone call I've got um, visitors coming it is about I think 20 to 9 at the moment so um, I'm hoping to get these away and then we'll move on but I will try and see what I can get rid of out of that basket there. Right, I've got the baskets back on the shelves. I'm just going to keep an eye on them. So now they're still on show, but neat. I've stacked them in, you know, inside one another. That I can review them and see whether I can use them this year. And if not, possibly get rid of them. And while we're here, I just want to show you, this is a long-term goal. I am going to um, sort out all my DVDs. I did start and they are going to be taken out. Well, most of them are going to be taken out of their um, cases and put in the um, cases down the bottom there. And I've started a DVD list. And I did actually um, talk to a member of our family and said, is there any box sets that, if I'm getting rid of them, do you want to um, watch them before they go to the charity shop? And they said yes. So I said, well, if I pass them on, you watch them and then pass them on to the relative charity store. So that is an ongoing, long goal. I um, have been on it a couple of years and I'm gradually um, getting through it uh, but as I said some goals I did say are not going to be that simple and quick and I'm glad I've got my upstairs covered as you probably saw from my video yesterday right a few bits that I've just um, pulled out this one is going to a friend at the community centre um, she may want it to um, help organise her desk. This is pot puree that I've had for a couple of years. Yes, I could add some oils to it so it can be reused, but I'm just going to get rid of it. Um, this butterfly um, candle holder. Another chip plate. I bought this from um, Primark. Um, don't think I've actually used it too glam to give a damn so I'm just gonna get rid of it and yes I'm getting rid of this our one because I've got two exactly the same as this so this one hasn't been used I'm just gonna donate to the charity shop so just a few more little items to go in my um, boxes um, to leave the home so I hope you've enjoyed this video thanks for watching goodbye